Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Aaron Johnson. I'll be teaching you on how to use Nessus Vulnerability Scanner in part one of the video course. First of all, let's go ahead and open a virtual box. And you'll want to boot the Backtrack 5R3. And what you'll also want to do is make sure you have another virtual machine or you can even test it on your own machine, if, your own host if you like to. I have a uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3 running in the background here with a local IP address of 1.118. So we'll be using that as our target with the Nessus scanner. So what you want to do first is start Nessus by opening a terminal and typing slash forward slash Etsy forward slash INIT dot D forward slash Nessus D and start. I have already started this, but go ahead and press enter and that will start Nessus. Open a Firefox web browser. Navigate to HTTPS forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8834. That is your local. And then port 8834 is Nessus. Log in with your credentials that you created in the previous video. You'll be greeted with a home feed welcome page. Hit OK. I've already made a scan earlier, which I'll go ahead and show you that later on. But to do a scan, select Scans, click Add, give it a name. Type is run now. You can have it scheduled at a certain time or day. You can even put a template if you want, but we're going to do Run Now, Policy, Internal Network Scan, Scan Targets. You can put more than one IP address in here, but in my case, I put 192.168.1.118, and then I just hit Launch Scan, but I've already did my launch scan. And depending on the your computer speed and your network speed, this may take a while. But I've already did a scan, so I'm going to go to Reports. Once your scan has finished, it will come up in Reports and it says Completed. Double click to select it. And as you can see, we have one high, two medium, 33 low priorities. And there's 12 open ports in Windows XP Service Pack 3. So let's go ahead and open that. Here are all the given ports here that are open on that box. You can download reports, you can show filters, you can reset filters if you like. You can here. And the high one, you can select under high and the high ones are UDP, SNMP because SNMP uh, I showed you in the previous section, SNMP enum can gather more information on the target as users in system information, hardware information. So that's very good to make sure you disable SNMP because by default, Windows XP has that enabled. But this will give you a run up how to use this. Just navigate and it will even tell you information about that exploit and that vulnerability tells you it's a high and gives you the base score and tells you why it's bad gives you an SVE number this is really good because then you could look up the SVE in Metasploit which will may be going over later on in the future but it tells you the description and what it can do and an attacker may use this information to gain more knowledge about the remote host which is true. So, but that will just give you a good understanding. This should be pretty basic. We will be going over how to use th these vulnerabilities that are coming in ne Nessus and in the part two when that comes up in section six, I believe. On my next video, I'll be showing you on how to install Metasploit framework and updating the framework. I hope this was very informative and interesting to you, and I want to thank you for viewing.